to know if we've reached AGI, artificial general intelligence, we have to go back to its roots, the Turing test. But Turing's original paper is not just about machines. It's about how little we understand ourselves. He opens with the headline question, can machines think? And then labels this question too meaningless to deserve discussion. So he replaces it with the now famous Turing test. So in case you're unfamiliar how it works, a human judge chats blindly with another human and a machine. And if the judge can't tell the difference between the two, then we say the machine passes and it can think. Turing proposes this workaround to bridge a giant gap that we don't really know what thinking or intelligence is. We kind of just know it by feel. It's crazy we spend so much of our time debating how close we are to artificial general or even super intelligence we don't have a rigorous definition of what intelligence even is. Models like Claude and ChatGPT might do a good job of fooling us in text chats, and yet I think many of us share the intuition that at a deeper level, their intelligence isn't very human at all. And we're terrible at designing intelligence tests for machines. Turing cites chess as one good example of abstract thought, but this was relatively easy for computers to replicate. Whereas things like social intelligence, vision, open-ended creativity, and embodied physical skill often literally unconscious for humans, have proved much harder for computers to reproduce. Also, so little of what we do as humans is individual. I propose a new test, pit a team of AIs against a team of humans and see who can produce something physical in the real world, preferably at the scale of a civilization. Maybe we don't wanna do that just yet. However, my main point is this, until we sharpen our definition of what intelligence is, we'll struggle to know if we've reached AGI or whether that's even a meaningful question.